we're now going to pull all the threads together and look at patterns with a constant difference. So we previously looked at these two and what I want you to take special note of is we saw that we were adding on two each time here and so when we went to go and have a look at how many matchsticks there'd be in the nth term we got 2n here and in this one remember we saw we were adding on 3 each time and so when we go to have a look what would happen in the nth term we saw that we got a 3n in that formula. I now want to look at a pattern where we don't actually have the matchstick pictures, we just have pure numbers. So let's have a look here at this pattern, 7, 11, 15, 19, 23, and it goes on, and I want to, to figure out what the nth term will be. So this is like saying there's seven matchsticks in the first picture, 11 in the second, 15 in the third, and I want you to work out how many matchsticks we'll have in the nth picture. So the way we're going to do this, I'm going to just pop it into a table to make it all neater and easier for me to work with. I'm going to put these in and I'm going to first of all have a quick check at if there's a thing that's jumping up by the same amount each time. And we can see there is. From 7 to 11 it's 4, from 4, 11 to 15 it's 4, again here it's 4, again here it's 4. And that's really nice because we've observed that when we have patterns that jump up by 4 each time, we know that we're going to have a 4n in the formula for the term. But we will also have plus something or minus something. And that's what we've still got to figure out. We know we're going to have the 4n, but we've got to figure out is it Add, is there something you have to add to the 4n or subtract to the 4n to get the actual number here. So the easiest way to do that is simply to write in what 4n would be in each case. So 4n when n is 1 is 4. When n is 2 it's 4 times 2 which is 8. When n is 3 it's 4 times 3 which is 12. When it's 4, 4 times 4 which is 16. When n is 4 it would be 4 times, I mean when n is 5 it'll be 4 times 5 which is 20. Now we can see that what we have, if it was just 4n, we'd be getting 4 in place of 7, and 8 in place of 11, 12 in place of 15, 16 in place of 19. What do we need to do to get from 4 to 7, or from 8 to 11, or from 12 to 15? Hopefully it's very easy for you to see that what we needed to do to get there is simply to add on a 3. And so our Tn will be 4n plus 3. Okay, I want you to figure it now. If you have a pattern that goes 8, 6, 4, 2, 0, negative 2, negative 4, etc., what will term n be? Pause the video and try. Okay, your first step should have been to notice that you were subtracting 2 each time. You then should know that your Tn will be minus 2n, uh, but it could be plus something or minus something, and we've got to figure out what that is. Your next step should have been to go and fill in what minus 2n just on its own would be, and then look to see what kind of correction you'd actually need to make to get what you want. And it's probably easiest to see it here. To correct from negative 10 to get to 0, you would have had to add on 10. So your Tn is negative 2n plus 10.